I'm Dave Granger. I'm the president of the Guild of Automotive Restorers, a restoration company that's been in business for over 30 years. We have restored over 2,500 cars, trucks, and other vintage vehicles. I've been asked repeatedly, how do you do that? Well, there's no great mystery involved. It's just a lot of experience. If you're curious about what goes on behind the scenes of a large restoration shop, join us at the Guild's Classics. My name's Al, and I work here at the Guild, and I am one of the metal workers. We do all of the bodywork and structural stuff and uh, make, fabricate, machine, weld, anything that needs to be made. And uh, today we're looking at this uh, Brobo cold saw, which is a pretty amazing machine that we got not that long ago and has made our lives here a lot easier. It um, cuts pretty much everything from small thin wall tubing up to large heavy section depending on what blade you put on it um, and you can cut stainless steel you can cut mild steel aluminum pretty much everything you'd need to uh, chop and trim and the beauty of a good cold saw is that you end up with almost a milling machine quality cut with very little burr so there's not a lot of work you have to do afterwards you set your angle make sure it's right cut it and everything fits up perfectly when you need to cut metal when you're doing fabrication there's a number of different ways you can do it um, if you're in a pinch and all you have is an angle grinder and a cutoff wheel you can do that and that's fine but then you got a lot of prep afterwards to make everything fit um, a lot of people use abrasive saws which again are great because they cut the metal but they rarely cut perfectly straight and you end up with a big burr on it band saws can be good but they cut slowly and they have a less uh, smooth cut but a saw like this is wonderful because it um, cuts straight. You dial in your angle and it cuts it every time with almost no burr and it cuts quickly and relatively quietly compared to other things. There's no smoke, there's no sparks, there's no dust and uh, clean up afterwards if it's steel with a magnet is uh, no big deal. So the other thing that's really nice about this saw is uh, the way the blades work. The blades are made out of high speed steel and they have little tiny or much larger, depending on the thickness of what you're cutting, uh, ground teeth. And uh, the blades themselves are expensive, but the beauty of them is when they get dull, you send them out to be resharpened, and you can resharpen them over and over and over and over and over again until they almost go away. Um, they last a long time and uh, before they get dull, and then we send them out to be resharpened, which is really inexpensive. So if you've got a lot of material, it's actually much cheaper um, to use one of these than say a band saw which isn't recyclable or an abrasive saw or other options. So if I'm cutting say 16 gauge, I'm going to use uh, finer tooth blades. I can cut you know 16 gauge, 18 gauge, thin wall steel and stainless steel tubing all day with this. Um, the little tiny teeth however aren't going to do such a good job on a thick material like if I'm cutting down a uh, piece of stock to put in the lathe the machine uh, a part out of. And so for that, I would use a really coarse tooth blade, um, which has a lot more room in it for the gullets to fill before, uh, before it loads up. 